not a good sign, I'll tell you right now. <laughs> How y'all doing? It's going good. Nick, start us off. Uh, it was just an amazing feeling, honestly, just being able to cheer with my guys, too. They always happy for me. We was all celebrating on the sideline. And just coming together with them. And I know my mom, she couldn't make it to the game, but I know she was going crazy at home. My sister filmed her. Everybody was excited for me. I had a lot of calls after the game. It was an exciting feeling. KJ Jefferson posed a big threat in the run game, but you guys did a great job. The quarterback contained. Looking back on film, were you happy with that performance? Yeah, and this, it comes with the preparation throughout the week too. We harped on that all week, and we just continued to like practice it and just like because we knew coming in they was like a run heavy team, so we just scheme and just like stop the run. Like, that's our first priority, so I think we executed that well. Does that go up another notch this week with another running? Oh yeah, quarterback? of course, yes, yes sir. All right. Yeah, obviously you guys are doing a pretty good job against the run. This is this team's a different threat. What do you see out of Kansas State and, and uh, you know, Giddens and Avery Johnson? Uh, it's another run-heavy team. I know uh, I played with Avery and Lily actually like when I moved uh, when I was living in Wichita, Kansas. So I know him pretty well. And Dylan Edwards, we all play on the same little league team. So I know those guys. So I know Avery's a pretty athletic guy. He likes to run. So if we can just contain him, it'd be a good game for us. Taji, was that a shot of confidence uh, going out to UCF, making those plays? And what was kind of the, the toughest part of that transition, just acclimating to this level as a pass rusher? Uh, just the coaches trusting me. They put me out there. They like I can see that they really believe in me, and just like I play my role, I just try to go out and execute the best I can. And I like I appreciate them for giving me the opportunity to do that. You got a bunch of veterans in your room with BJ Dayon. How much have you? How much have those guys been a resource to you so far through the off season now throughout the season as well? They've been a tremendous resource for me since I, they got here. Honestly, they they show me things that they do, and I just take bits and pieces from everyone that I can work with, and because we all got like different styles, so. Like, I just take bits and pieces, honestly. You had Jordan Dominic last year. I mean, how nice has it been for the first two years of your career to have so many, you know, talented ad rushers to learn from? Honestly, like like I said, they all are different. I just take different style. I know Jordan, he's more like a finesse guy. Like, watching him last year, that, he was definitely a good role model for me. And I looked up to him. Tajay, you were here last year. Just what are the differences now this year compared to this time last year? Uh, Just improvement, just learning the game a lot more, studying, just taking it more serious, and just building trust with the coaches, honestly. What does it mean for your group to be able to step up? Like with Dayon out last week, um, you, know, you had a couple sacks, Sam had a couple had a couple sack as well. For that group, I mean, does that just kind of show the depth of what you have there? Yeah, it shows what we can do when we all firing off. Like, it's just, that's just, a, it's neat. We didn't even reach our pinnacle yet. Like, we still got room to, more room to improve, honestly. So, it's only up from here. Who's, Last question. Who's got the best move in the room? Uh, That's hard to say. Like I said, everybody got a different style. It's just, I can't really, like, choose one move. It's all different. I mean, we all got our, all pack our punch. So, we all do a good job. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. How you guys doing? Good. 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 Uh, last week at UCF, a uh, really run heavy team. You guys showed up and you know, held the, the best rushing offense in the country to 177 yards. What was the assignment and message that week to have a performance like, like that? Um, I think anytime you're playing against a, a team like U, UCF um, and also this team this week with a running quarterback with an option-style principle, you just got to be disciplined. Everybody got to trust one another, and everybody got to execute their assignment because everybody has a different assignment, especially on the edge. So we just have to be very, very disciplined, lock in on our keys, and play our assignment. I know you have confidence in all your guys, but how much of a boost does it give you to see guys like Tajay Arden come in and make so many plays? Uh, it, it helps us out extremely, especially with those guys coming in. Um, I don't consider them backups because they easily could be playing at the one. Um, but uh, it just helps us out overall, especially as a unit. You know, yeah, we defensive ends, but we rush as one. Everything we do up front is is, is predicated off each other and helping each other. Because, hey, man, this, this, this game may not be for you. Let me see how can I set my brother up. So we just rush as one, trust each other. Be disciplined within the scheme, and um, that's how we execute. That's how we play fast, and that's how we execute and uh, make plays in the backfield because we play as one. Right. Coach, you guys already played several running quarterbacks, some pretty good ones. Uh, does that help going into this week, and, or do you think K-State's a little bit different style? Uh, 
um, it helps. No, no, no question. It helps because it changes our rush, um, how we rush the QB. Uh, but overall, it, it, it's no different. I think this kid here is is, is very is, is very very mobile. You know, um, he can he's he's elusive. Not totally different how we played last. We use more of a power back. But this kid right here, if he gets outside, man, he can he can do damage. So we got to be very very disciplined. Trust our rush lane. Trust the guy that's next to us and execute the time. How's Deion Hayes doing? Did, did that bye week help him? Uh, he's progressing. Uh, right now he's still uh, a little gimpy, but he's progressing week by week. Um, looking forward to getting him back. It feels to me like Samuel Okamola has some things that maybe you just can't teach athleticism-wise. What do you see out of a guy like that? Uh, man, just just a natural hard worker. Everything he does is full speed. He don't know no other way. Um, He's different, you know, he, he has a different style, a different rush, and all of them does. Everybody don't rush the same. Everybody's not the same when it comes to rushing, but Sam is just unique in how he rushes the pass and um, just continue to, to push him through practice and make sure that he understands, again, the rush angle, the rush lane, and how we're rushing this week. Is he a guy that scouts kind of kind are always in, you know, coaches ears about? Oh, uh, he's one of them. He's one of them. Yeah. Brian, go ahead. Real quick, I mean, you spent last year trying to stop Dylan Edwards in practice. Yeah. Um, how different is it, uh, you know, trying to game plan and see him on a different, different team? And like, what are you seeing different out of him? Um, he's a little different, but I think they use him similar to how we used him last year. They, you know, they want to get him to the perimeter, of course, so he can outrun you with his speed. Um, they want to put him in the slot. They want to put him up, miss, get him up, mismatch on the linebackers to win on the wheel route. So you just got to know where he's at all the time. You know. You know, uh, this week we've been doing a great job of game planning against him, and everybody knows what he can do because he was here last year. So, yeah, he's he's a guy that we have to make sure we understand where he's at and where he's located on the field. Scott, go ahead. Coach, from your perspective, what, what's kind of been the biggest difference for you guys defensively, particularly on third down in the red zone to five games as opposed to the five games of last year? Just playing as one. Nobody being – so you can't be selfish on third down. Um, everybody got to rush as one, especially up front, man. Like I said, we pride on our, we pride ourselves by rushing as one. And if everybody do their job, then eventually, hey, man, it may not be for you, but it eventually comes to you. So we rush as one. We be disciplined within the defense. Corral does a great job with giving us game plans throughout the week on what we need to do, where we need to be up front. And so, man, we just take what he gives us and we do it and we be disciplined at the, in the scheme of things. Last one, Taylor, go ahead. And then just expand on Rock Lee Mustang. Just like, what have you like, like about his style? About you guys just like, like, like you guys just being you out uh, there. Uh, he's just fun, man. Um, he's exciting to be around. Um, his his composure on game day is tremendous. The at, the atmosphere that he sets allows these guys not to not to blink, man. Just continue to play. Um, it don't matter about the last play. Play the next play. Just being around him, man. He brings excitement. He brings joy. He's fun to work with. Uh, Oh, man, you can see the smile because that's what he makes you do. Even though it's a bad play, he's still smiling. He's still upbeat. He's still running around. He still has a lot of joy on the sideline, man. Um, uh, the way these guys play, they play off him, as you can see. They play exciting. As long as he stays exciting, they stay exciting. So, um, man, he does a great job. Been doing a great job since he's been here. Allows us to be coaches. Um, allows us to coach our room. And, and, yeah, man, he sets the bar high, and we just follow him. But it's, 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 it's exciting. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. Hello, how's it going? Good. 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 Taylor, you want to start us? The last time we talked to you, you said nothing feels better than a sack. How does it feel to get one? It uh, feels good. <laughs> oh, yeah, looking forward to getting one. Yeah. For you guys to step up day on out, you know, you've had a sack, uh, Taja has a couple of sacks. Um, how big of a deal was that for the room to have other guys step up and come out? That's what we're supposed to do, you know? We all can play, we all can contribute to this team. Does that, does that speak to the depth of where you have to go and know how you guys can't step in for each other? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Five weeks in now, do you feel like you're growing with Coach Fancy and Coach Sapp and Coach Lewis now? How do you feel about where your game's at? Uh, yeah, I'm definitely getting better every game and every practice. Yeah. Your spin move pops off off the page on film. Is that yeah. something that you work pretty hard on? 
Yeah, work on it a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Is there a selflessness to this football team that, that's kind of in that locker room that, that you guys sense? Yeah, definitely. Everybody, everybody has to be self, uh, selfless for this team to get to where we get to. What, what drives that? Is it the leadership, or what, what kind of drives that? For you guys? Uh, leadership. Us having a common goal in mind. You know, so all those factors. How are we going? Seems like the, the 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 ends as a whole have done a really good job fitting the run this year. How much pride do you guys take in that, knowing you've faced so many good r rushing offenses and you'll face another one this Saturday? Uh, yeah, we definitely take pride in it. Uh, you have to play the run, so yeah, it's just a part of football, you know. So yeah. Anything else we're saying? Brian, what? go ahead. How, how much fun do you guys have in the locker room right now? I know that this isn't the end goal, but to, to be off to a good start like this and playing good football and getting better every week, like, what's the, what's the mood in the locker room like right now? Uh, normal, you know, we're supposed to win games. That's what we're all here for, you know. We all come from different places, and we're here to win. Uh, yeah, I'd say it's normal. We're expecting to do this. Yeah. Sam, does it make it easier preparing for a team like Kansas State when you've already faced, you know, teams like UCF and other quarterback run heavy teams? We prepare for everybody the same way. Defense has been super underrated. PFF loves you guys. Do you guys think you're getting the recognition you deserve nationally? I'm not worried about recognition. I just play football. Do you, you, you have a chance to get anything fun in over the bye week or a little downtime, rest your body up? Uh, just rest. And, uh, come in every day. And, uh, get at it, work at it. So, yeah. That's good. All right. Thanks, Sam. Thanks, Thank Sam. you. Thanks, Sam. Thanks, Sam. Thanks, Sam. Yeah.